Hey everybody, it's Christine. Today I am going to continue my series on grid style layouts and I'm actually going to do a Christmas one. Now, don't run off just because I said Christmas. I know it's two weeks into January. However, I still have Christmas product. I still have Christmas kits. I still have Christmas pictures and I barely had any time to do anything with them over Christmas. So you know what? I'm going to still continue to use those for a little while here and give you ideas on how to use those. All that said, this can totally work for any theme. Um, there is nothing Christmas specific on this layout as far as how I create, as far as the design goes. Um, the only thing that's Christmas specific is the product. So hang with me, even if you are like completely done with Christmas and don't even want to think about it anymore, hang with me because I think you may still get some ideas from this layout. So all that being said, what you're seeing right now is me creating my grid background. These papers come from Photoplay Paper. They were in last month's Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room. And this is kind of a, it's not a buffalo plaid, but it kind of has that feel to it, that red, the black. And what I was inspired by was all the small squares on it, but also the fact that you could put those small squares together to make a big square. And so what I'm doing is creating a background of small squares, um, a grid background of small squares. And the big squares that you see me adding are where my pictures are going to go. So this is going to be a very, very linear layout. Lots of straight lines, um, all that stuff for my base. My background, however, the background patterned paper that I'm using is this white paper with little black spots on it and there is nothing linear about it they are spread out however willy-nilly on the layout or on the on the paper so that helps to not make things quite so graphic um it's also just a great background paper when i saw it i was like oh that will work fantastic for a background um part of the trick as i made this was figuring out where to place my three photos and where to put those three bigger squares. And I kind of hemmed and hawed on that quite a bit. I have a seven by seven square at the end of this. And so I just went all around. I just moved things around until I figured out a layout that I was happy with. Now, if you're wondering how in the world I'm getting these on there straight with even margins, um, centered on the paper, what I did is I took a ruler at the beginning and I marked a box very lightly with pencil for my outer borders of my square. And it's so light that you can't even really see it right now. Um, but I did that and then you can see I started by creating outside edges and then building from there. Um, I'm not going to say like if you got up there with a ruler and measured this one by one that it would be perfect. Um, but right now you can see it looks pretty close to perfect. So um, a little bit of pencil. Make sure you have a good eraser before you start erasing because you don't want one that's going to leave a mark behind. And then there you go. Now. I have added my pictures on here and you can see that I matted my pictures with a white and very little of that big square is showing up. Um, I did also pop those up with 3D foam squares. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add on my title and my embellishments. Because I've got a very linear look going on right now, I am going to... Um, use a script title so that my harsh lines that I've got are broken up a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to completely um, eliminate the design that I've got going, but I do want to soften it a little bit so that using that script font for my title works really well. Um, and what I've got on there right now is Ho 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 with that black script, and that's a sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker page that came in the embellishment kit and then and then I have Christmas that also was on that sticker page and then I cut out Mary from a piece of ephemera that was in the page kit um, and that was just on a tag and I didn't want to have to write it out in little letter stickers I couldn't find another good way to write it so I just trimmed it right out of that 
tag and stuck it right in there in between. And I actually really like the look of it because it kind of looks like a tag hanging off, fitting with that Christmas theme. Now you can see I'm adding on stickers. Some of them I am tucking behind, some I am putting up high with 3D adhesive. Um, I have some consistency going on here and I want to point that out to you. I've got my groups of three, so I've got the visual triangle with my pictures already started. I've got three big stickers for my first embellishment. The stocking, the mittens, and the present. And then each one got a little peppermint sticker. Um, and those, I did pop up all three of those. And then each cluster is going to get snowflakes. They're also each going to get one of these little, um, twigs, leaves. I, it's some kind of a plant look. Um, and I'm tucking those on there as well. And I'm keeping all of these consistent while they may have a different color or a different size. They are consistent for each cluster bringing a great deal of unity to the whole layout. With the busyness of the background that I've got going on, I wanted to keep some good solid unity going and I'm really pleased with how it came together. If you're looking at this, you'll notice that your eye already is starting at that top picture and working its way circular around the layout again. And that's something similar to the last grid video that I had. You found that your eye traveled in a circular motion. Despite the fact that we're working with squares, we're going around in a circle looking at all the little details of the layout. So I am gonna add this little black um, phrase on here. It just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I'm gonna just tuck that in up top there to again, help that eye know which direction to go on the layout and to start up top there. I'm also gonna just put on a few more little snowflakes to add some details. Um, really pleased with how this came together. Now, my next step is kind of a fun one and just a twist on the grid thing. You can see that I am pulling up the top right-hand corner of my little squares where I can, and I am just tucking a little piece of 3D foam adhesive underneath them. What this is doing is creating some dimension and texture on this layout and just giving it a unique look. So all of those squares are gonna have a little corner pulled up and it just created a really pretty look. An unintentional effect of it is that it kind of reminds me of an advent calendar. I was not going for that at all, but as I looked at it um, when I was done, I realized, oh, you know, hey, that kind of resembles an advent calendar, which is also kind of a cool addition to the theme part of it. Final step, I'm just gonna add on some black Nouveau drops. Quite honestly, I'm not sure that I loved that. Um, oh, and I also add on this black, I'm gonna matte it in black. I'm gonna take a little bit off the sides. Um, and add that just to give a solid background. I don't tend to like a white patterned paper as my main base, I like to mat it. Um, and I'm literally taking off probably less than a half an inch all the way around. Um, so it's not gonna be a huge background. Um, but then, the back to the Nouveau drops. Sorry, I forgot this step. <laughs> um, I am gonna add on some Nouveau drops. And, <laughs> There have been very few times where I've added Nouveau drops and I thought, eh, that was that was a bad idea. Usually I'm like, yes, perfect final touch. Um, today's layout, they're not my favorite final touch. In fact, quite honestly, as I walked away from it, I was a little bit disappointed with the addition. However, when I looked at it again a few hours later, I was less disappointed, so I don't know if I just needed to walk away and have a break. Um, it's still not my favorite. I think quite honestly, if I was gonna do it again, I probably would have left them off, but that's okay. Um, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Have you ever added anything to a layout that you regretted, but there was really nothing you could do to change that? It had to stay on there. Um, and what was that? I, I bet for most of you, it was something liquid, mixed media, that kind of stuff. Cause most other things you can change. Um, but I'm being, you know, I'm being honest with you here that sometimes I do that and 
share your funny story with me too on on when that's happened to you. Um, and that is it. So this layout was, like I said, it's from the December kit from the scrap room, but she does have January kits and you can definitely check those out. She's got a great selection this month. Um, and if you're still playing with your December kits, then you're in good company. <laughs> Hopefully I will have time to come back and do a couple more Christmas pages before we get too far away from Christmas. Um, and keep your eye out. I still have more planned for this series on using grids in your layouts. Thank you for being here today and we will see you again next time.